Welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty when, no, let's have a guest singer today. Okay, Angie, this is for you. Go ahead, babe. When will I be YouTube famous? You have to sing it. Probably never. <laughs> I can't sing that. It's not my song, man. It's not my song. I don't remember when, this song. Will I be you too famous? When? Will I? <laughs> no, when? When? I'd never. <laughs> it's not be horrific. And now, following on from Queenie's husband singing my intro. Uh -huh. My husband's going to give it a go. Ready? Uh-huh. When, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. That was a bit weird. Probably never. Do I get a recording contract? If I'm in charge, yes, darling. But if anyone else was, probably not. Mm, I don't know. Depends. Uh. Oh. You've got lipstick on your nose now. Um, so, <laughs> that's weird, wasn't it? This film, uh, as you will have seen from the thumbnail and the title, and if you've read any of it, the description, is a one row in a palette continuation of that series. Only this time, I know the first two episodes are with Stars Hollywood Jessica. This time, it's with Queenie. And the palette that we are using is the Tasty Avocado Palette. <laughs> so, if you'd like to find out which row was mine, how many of the shades in that row I managed to use in this eye look, and learn a little bit more about Makeup Queenie, my darlings, you're in precisely the right place. When Hubby's quite finished doing timpani in the background with his keys. Sorry. I'll sneak off now. Husbands. Sneaky, sneaky. <sighs> <laughs> it's just as well we love each other, isn't it, really? Hopefully, you'll love this video almost as much. Here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right, pretty sure I will have told you in the intro that this is a collaboration with the wonderful Queenie, Makeup Queenie 68, and we are continuing my One Row in a Palette series because she commented on um, the second episode that I did. The first two that I did were with Jessica. From Stars Hollywood Jessica um, and Queenie commented on the second episode saying this is such a fun idea so I sent her an inbox and I'm like shall we do you want to what do you think <laughs> so we had a chat <clears throat> and we came to the conclusion that we both have this palette pretty sure I'll have shown you this in the intro as well and we decided we were going to do one row each in this palette. Now clearly I have this upside down because I don't want to blind you with the mirror because southeast facing kitchen window quite early in the morning. Hub is on a driving lesson. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not going to tell you which row Queenie has chosen. What I will say is that I've got the top row which as you're looking at it is the bottom row. Uh, which is actually three mattes and three shimmers, which is quite a nice balance because the middle row is two mattes and four shimmers and the bottom row, or the top row as you're looking at it now, is three and three as well. So, I've gone for this row. So, it's nearly time, <clears throat> nearly, to pop some colour on my face. However... As always, this is a teaching channel, so partly because my chronic pain, excuse me, I've just had a slurp of energy drink and it made me burp, I apologise. 
partly because my chronic pain won't let me blend very quickly but also because when I was learning I found it very very frustrating a trying to find an actual tutorial rather than just a oh look here's a new palette let me try it out so finding a tutorial was difficult and then finding a tutorial that took you through all the steps at a speed that a beginner can follow so I decided there was a gap in the market and why not fill that gap with the wondrousness or something that is me um, that being said if you can blend faster than me, I'm going to have to wiggle. I'm in a lot of pain already, sorry. Hang on. Probably cut this bit out. <clears throat> right. If you can blend quicker than I can, there's a speed widget up there. Please use it. Don't moan at me that I'm going too slowly. Right, faces washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. As always, I'm using my antiperspirant primer. Um, underneath that, I've also used a bit of the no problem on my nose, middle of my forehead and my chin because the, the pores were looking particularly cavernous this morning following my shower. So I figured I'd love a bit of that on underneath it. Now, I'm going to zoom you in, I'm going to briefly talk you through the difference between deep set and hooded eyes, as I always do, and it's time to start putting some colour on. So if you are a regular viewer and you know exactly what I'm about to say, feel free to fast forward until you see me wave a luminous brush at you with some colour on it. Okay, come here. Right, as always, the eye primer that I'm using is a uh, chrome pebble. I've got blank page cotton uh, because I am as pale as a freshly pulled pint of milk so white gives me a nice base for my eyeshadows. She does six different colours at the moment. The two deepest shades are a chocolate brown and black and then there's three skin tone shades in between. I do have a discount code with them however I do not earn from that discount code. Uh, she does not ask me to talk about this every time I use it. She just noticed that I did and said, uh, as you keep talking about it, would you like a discount code for your followers? Which I thought was really lovely of her. All of my discount codes are listed in the description box and they all state whether or not I earn from them. With this particular one, I don't earn any money back. I just earn pebbles that I can use and offset against future purchases. Right. Now... I have deep set eyes but I have the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour, especially shimmers, onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting the crease I have to cut onto the upper lid rather than just through the socket. And if I decide to put glitter on, even with glitter glue, get a bare patch right through there. But I'm going to explain to you the difference and how to work out whether you have hooded or deep set eyes because the workarounds for each type of eye are slightly different. So if you've been told you've got hooded eyes or you think you've got hooded eyes because you have those issues, but doing the tricks for hooded eyes still doesn't make your, your eye looks work, could be that you have deep set eyes like me. Now, when I relax my brows and look forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. Now you can't see much of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got a hooded lid. It's only if this, this upper lid, the static lid, completely covers right down to the lash line, part or all of your mobile lid, that you have a full or a half hooded lid, or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. Now I'm going to demo on this side, because this is the eye that I'm blinding, so I can make sure that I'm still on screen and in focus. Now, if I cover my visible mobile lid this side, and close my eyes you can see I've got as much if not more space that tucks back away that you can't see. If I cover the static upper lid and do the same you can see I've got skin there that tucks back in and it's those two bits of skin rubbing together that give me the same issues that people with hooded lids get however as I said the workarounds for both style of eyes are very different. 
if you have hooded lids get something like this or a pencil brush or the eyeliner brush and sketch out on your static lid a new crease line. Now obviously this is going to reduce the space between your crease and your brow so use smaller blending brushes than I use and if necessary take the colour right up to your brow. You can still then go over it and put a brow highlight on afterwards if you need to or you want to. If you have deep set eyes like myself what we have to do when we're putting the deepest shade through the crease is to every so often relax our brows and look forward and just make sure we brought it up high enough that you can see it when your eyes are open. Okay, So as you can tell two very different workarounds for two very similar eye shapes. Now one of the things that I love about this primer is that it goes on and it's not sticky. So you don't have that trade-off between shall I set my brow or shall I set my primer so it's easy to blend on or should I not set it, fight to blend and end up with an eye look that takes twice as long and could be patchy. You don't ever have that trade-off because where it goes on dry you can blend on it immediately so you don't lose any of the brilliance of colour that you want but you can still blend on it. Right, I am starting off in the shade half and there's the curve, there's the, the trigger moment for people that are fast forwarding to stop and start watching. I always hold the brush right at the very end my nails look great with this, na this brush <laughs> um, so I put as little pressure on as possible and I'm just going to start off little circular movements very gently in this direction towards the nose bounce a bit in the middle and then reverse the direction to come back out again now I did tap off so that I didn't put too much powder on initially because to be honest it's been so long since I've used this I can't actually remember how much fallout there was with this palette that's also my fibro fog coming into play now the reason that I do these tiny circles is because I'm 45 years old and I've lost 14 stone which is just under 200 pounds I might even have lost more than that it's been a while since I jumped on the scales and people have been telling me that it looks like I've lost more so and because of that the skin on my eyelids moves but I know 20 year olds that have always been stick thin but have got loose eyelids just genetically but by doing these tiny circular movements if I lean in and show you you're very gently moving the eyelid skin around so it helps to avoid the barcoding or the tiger striping that you get if you just do this movement you can combine this movement with it if you get an area that is being particularly stubborn and doesn't want to blend out and then go back to the circles so I just buffed too much of my colour away then the only place that I struggle is just here can you see how deep these creases are here this is where my eye was pulled around when I was five years old at the ophthalmic hospital so yeah 40 nearly 41 years ago and I'm seeing the damage now I will but it does at least give me a chance to show you what the barcoding looks like but what I do unfortunately have to do now with this lid when I'm putting shimmers on is I do have to stretch the lid out which I do not advise you doing for most people because on this eye I never have to do it for most people doing this circular movement in one direction towards the nose and a different direction coming back again would be enough to stop that barcoding so you don't have to overstretch the skin of your eyes because it's it's so fragile it's 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 like tissue paper so treat it as gently as you would tissue paper that's why you have different eye creams of a different consistency than your face cream because you know if you've got tissue paper 
and a piece of letterhead paper and you put a dollop of oil on each one or a dollop of butter on each one which one's going to soak through first? Precisely. Shh! Busy! Now then! Right. Uh, I'm just going to clean this brush off on a clean washcloth and then I'm going to go into the shade Toast. But I want to have a chat to you about Queenie. Now, I think the first time... I know she commented on a few of my um, films and whenever anybody does that I always check to see if they've got a channel and then I watch a few of their films and if I like what they're doing then I'll, I'll follow them back kind of thing. Um, and then we ended up, because we've got quite a few mutual friends, we ended up in a big collab together um, which was awesome. And we've been in quite a few sort of group collabs. Just putting this a little bit further down on the eye. Just blending it together. Um, but I don't think we've done any individual collabs between us. I mean, bless her heart, I'm, I'm probably going to put it into the intro again today. She got her hubby to sing my intro, which was just awesome. I love that so much. Um, and in fact I probably will include it when I record my intro today, I probably will pop Queenie and her husband in doing my intro for me. Um, and if any of you want to send me a clip on uh, Instagram or something of you singing my intro, I would be delighted to include it on one of my films so that you can uh, properly feel part of 4F Beauty. Because we are a lovely family here and Queenie is just amazing. I mean, she absolutely fits in with the 4F mentality. Um, she's always very, very fair with her reviews. She is always very, very honest with everybody else. But she's all... I, I don't think I've ever seen her leave a snarky comment to anyone. Um, she's just... She's, she's a real delight. She's just so genuine and so lovely. Um, I always say if ever I could afford to get over to America, um, I'd love to sort of take a boat cruise across because I don't do flying. Especially after watching air crash investigations. I don't do flying. Um, no, I, I struggle with um, severe inner ear pain to the point that I almost feel like my ears are bleeding when I get off the plane and I've tried everything um, but nothing works. You can see these two colours are blending together beautifully which I'm very very happy with but I'm going to clean this brush off and I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush into AVO, AVO. Um, if you're wondering why I'm using a washcloth and not a colour switch, I found that the colour switch was getting very harsh on the bristles of my brushes, especially my natural hair brushes. I mean, these are synthetic. Um, but I, I much prefer, I mean, admittedly, it does end up stained, even when it's been through the washing machine. But it's a much gentler way of sort of taking the, the colour off of your brush so that you can continue to use it again through the week before you do your deep clean on the Sunday or whatever day you do your deep clean. Uh, right, let's grab myself okay, a smaller blending brush. I will just give this a bit of an extra wiggle just because it's obviously used quite a dark shade last time. Just to make sure I've got the colour off. But yeah, Queenie is, she, oh, I absolutely love the woman but you know, I'd love to sort of take a slow cruise over on a boat because God gave me enough inbuilt ballast I can float <laughs> he didn't give me wings these ways not yet anyway he tried on my 43rd birthday gave me pneumonia nearly wiped me out I was a little bit too tough I wasn't ready to go anywhere yet so I always get 
more fall out with this eye because this eye, the skin moves more. Right, I'm going to go into Avo with this smaller brush. Um, yeah, I, I just, there are, you know, I'd love to sort of take a cruise across to America and then hire a vintage caddy in powder blue. The one that had the the rocket tail fin lights on it. I think that was the 52 or the 54 caddy. I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will enlighten me in the comments and let me know. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hire one of those and just just drive around and, and visit all these people that I've been collabing with and you know meet some of the people that have have always chatted with me. I know there's um, at least one of my one of my lovely friends on here is um, looking to come across to the UK soon, and she's like, "Oh, I'd love to meet up with you if that's not too weird." I'm like, "No, of course it's not weird." Well, once you come over, we'll sort out somewhere to meet up. I mean, you know, if you suddenly turn up on my doorstep with a box of chocolates and a bunch of flowers, I might be a little bit perturbed, but. <laughs> You know, if we've arranged to meet somewhere, then that's absolutely fine. You know, I think it's a lovely idea that, you know, if she's going to come to the UK and, and have a look at some of the sites and stuff, um, I'd, I'd love to meet up with them because I do consider everyone that comments and everyone who's part of the 4F family as family, as friends. You know, it's. One of the reasons that I started this channel was because being disabled is very isolating and being able to chat to people halfway around the world, it just alleviates some of the loneliness you can feel being stuck indoors all the time. As you can see, I'm just putting some of this on the outer edge of my mobile lid as well. And the reason that I've put the darkest colour through the crease is because anything dark goes back, anything light comes forward. So if you have had to create a crease, by putting the deepest colour through there, when people are further back from you, it will look... It won't look like you faked a crease, it'll look like you actually have a crease. But yeah, um, you know, Queenie is absolutely on the list of people that I would want to, to hook up with and go for a coffee or maybe something alcoholic at some point. But there's, there's so many people that I've collabed with that I just absolutely adore and I do consider friends. Okay, we haven't exactly sat in each other's kitchens having a gossip on a coffee. Um, but, you know, we chat through Insta. We comment on each other's films. And, you know, collabing together like this. I just... I just absolutely love having friendships that are so far-reaching. You don't have to keep dusting your fallout away. Um, I just do it because it fidgets me when I'm editing. I'm just going to clean this brush off. But yeah, I absolutely adore Queenie, and her husband seems like a barrel of fun too. I reckon him and my Chris would get on well together. In fact, we might send the boys off to the pub, and me and Queenie will sit there and uh, having a cup of coffee and just putting the world to rights. I think, and playing with makeup, probably knowing us. Right, I'm going to grab, this is a, actually no I'm not going to grab that one, I'm going to grab one of my Jeffree Star ones. This is a Jeffrey Morphe lip brush, the JS24, but I love it for getting into the corners like that. Um, and I never ever go into a pressed pigment with a wet brush, always load your pigment up first, then spray it. And today my spray of choice is a Slay All Day in Jasmine. 
and I'm going to start off, let's have a look at these, these two, I think I'll start off with Smoothie, which is the green one. So how's your day been? Has it been a good one? Or are you at the start of your day and hoping it's going to be a good one? I hope it has been a good day for you, or I hope it will be a good day for you. And if it hasn't been, well then I hope tomorrow's better. Right, um, I've just cleaned the ferrule off because otherwise you don't want moisture going down and loosening the glue of your brush. I've got a little mirror here to look down into so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to apply this right into the inner corner there and just bring it out about a third of the way along the lid. Such a pretty green. Uh, but yes, this one row in a palette is basically you pick a row. You can only use the colours in that row. Try and use them all if you can, but you don't have to use all of them. But I like to challenge myself and make myself use all of them. Just dried the brush off so I can go back in and reload the pigment up for the other eye. As you can see, then give it a squirt. Easiest way to dry the ferrule off is just stick it in the crease of your fingers and just twirl the brush around. Right now hopefully I'll be able to show you. There, can you see the tiger striping I was talking about? So I do unfortunately have to stretch this eye out because otherwise what happens is um, Instead of being blended nicely across the eye like this is, I end up with loose pigment in the crease. And then as I move my eye through the day, it ends up cascading down my face, which is not good. I mean, if you want to sort of slowly get multicoloured freckles down your face, this is a quick way of doing it, but of course it only happens on one side, so I get lopsided freckles and yeah, no thank you. <laughs> right, cleaned the brush back off, dried it off, and I'm going to go into California. No sad party. Okay, I'm showing my age now. I suppose I should have gone into California girls. If I want to go really old, I wish they all could be California girls. Show my age now. Actually, no, because my hubby is a kind of a born again hippie and he listens to a lot of 60s stuff. A lot of 60s and 70s sort of hippie and prog rock stuff he listens to. So. Just popping this onto the middle third, and then I'm going to use the tip of the bristles just to gently blend where those two colours meet, and do the same where it meets the matte shade on the outer edge there. And yes, I got hair loss all out. Doesn't worry me because that's why I do my base afterwards. So I'll dry the brush off, go back into California. One thing I have noticed the difference between California and smoothie is that California is starting to hard pan. I don't know if you can see that there. Whereas smoothie didn't. But even though it's hard panning, it's still letting me pick up pigment. So, California must have more oils in it than smoothie does. I'll do the same thing on this eye. 
can see how much more this eyelid moves now, can't you? Really notices when I'm doing this bit. I'm just every so often I sit back and check that they look the same, both sides, because obviously your eyes are not symmetrical. Unless you're Jimmy Chuck and decide you're going to Photoshop it that way. But I don't use any kind of trickery or nonsense on my films. All my photos, unless it's a very obvious Snapchat photo where I've got ears or something. Um, but if I do put up a Snapchat filtered photo, I always make sure there are photos preceding it that show how my skin and my makeup actually looks. Right, I am going to pause you now while I pop some foundation and everything on and uh, then I will be back to finish this eye look with you now for me I'm going to have a little bit of a delay before I can have a chat to you again but for you my darlings it's going to be absolutely instant so I will see you right now hello I am back I had a real struggle with my brows again today the green that I'm using on my brows is actually a Colourpop gel liner <clears throat> which was absolutely fine initially but it started to get very dry on the top so I'm thinking maybe I mean yesterday I tried a drop of uh, priming spray to loosen it up a little bit I think I might need to put a drop of argan oil or something into it and reduce it so to speak not make it smaller but you, you know what I mean right yeah right I'm getting this brush and I'm going to dip into Avo and I'm just going to pop this along my lower lash line like so I really love this sort of grungy. I'm so glad that Queenie didn't choose this row. Because all of my favourite grungy shades are on the top row. So, yay! Well, I'm going to admit, there is one shade on her row that I really, really like. Once you've watched her film, See if you can guess which shade it is that I really, really like. And then uh, come back and comment on here and let me know what you think. Because obviously that is the beauty of a collab. You don't just get one film to watch. You get two films to watch. Right. This is the brush from the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette. I love this brush. It's flat top but it's chunky so it's great for blending out that lower lash line. And I'm going to go into half, which was the green that I started with. And I'm just going to use this just to buff along that lower lash line, just to soften that underline and just to give it a bit of extra grunge, a bit of extra smoke. Um, I struggle with putting anything into my waterline itself because um, <clears throat> I have super sensitive eyes. And my fibro makes that worse. And if I put anything on the waterline, it just starts cascading down my face and just looks awful in no time at all. So I went a bit ham with the, the blush today, but never mind. Blush draping it is. I was so tempted to put a wing liner on today but my eyes are so sensitive I, I just know that if I try it's going to bugger the whole look up so never mind right grabbing the little Jeffrey brush again the only shade I have not used from this row yet is Smash so I'm just going to dip into Smash use that for my inner corner 
and regular viewers know I like to take it under the tear duct and just blend it in to the under eye area. So I actually managed to use all six of my shades. Yay! I wonder how many Queenie I managed to use. Knowing her, all of them. <laughs> She's so skilled at doing makeup. Um, she did Frankenfurter as one of the challenges that we did. Oh, amazing. And the fact that Rocky Horror is my absolute favourite film ever anyway. And then she sang my favourite song from it. I'm just a sweet transvestite. From transsexual Transylvania. <laughs> Sorry. That is super pretty. I'm not going to use that under the brow though. I'm going to go for a a gold highlight I think up under the brow and as I haven't worn it for a while actually I haven't got this one out for a while this is my goddess of love goddess of faith one from revolution and as I've got I use revolution um, foundation today as well I use the conceal and uh, conceal and hydrate foundation and concealers today so why not make it a revolution day and use a revolution highlight as well I love these baked highlights they really if you know what I mean by that alright I'm going to pause you one last time my lovelies while I continue to cover my face in highlight, put some mascara on, do something with the hair and choose a lippy and I will be back with my finished look. Hey, I am back. So yeah, I used the uh, Goddess of Love, Goddess of Faith highlighter, as you can see. Ta -ta 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 -ta, which is what I like. Um, for setting spray for my face today, because I find jasmine um, tends to dry my jawline out just fractionally so um, I use the rose one which is the, um, the one that Nakia Joy chose for some reason my camera is focusing on her face instead of mine hello I am far more important hello <laughs> that's hubby in the front room just got back from his driving lesson it went very well thank you for asking I assume you asked of course you did, yes. Um, <laughs> the lippy is actually a Fenty and it's frost sauce. Why do they make them so bloody tiny? Look! Don't they realise I'm 40 bloody fine? Frost sauce. Uh, just because I thought it picked up nicely with the uh, the browner tones from this eye look and hubby's comment was that's a very 80s look you have going on there darling a very toya which i'm taking as a compliment because i know he likes toya so so this is my finished look for one row in a palette using the tasty avocado palette um if you're a regular viewer once you've double checked you're still subscribed <laughs> hit that like drop me a comment maybe even share the video I'm gonna need you to go over to Queenie's channel and watch her video find out which rose she chose and have a guess in the comments box how many of her six shades do you think she will manage to include in her look Mm -hmm. and then come back afterwards and let me know if you're right or not be really interested to find out <coughs> bless you darling Love you. right if you are here from uh, Queenie's channel hi hello welcome I hope you enjoyed this uh, if you've made it this far through I'm guessing you must have liked a little something uh, if you did, it'd be awesome if you too would like to join the 4F family by hitting that subscribe button 
and then the notification bell and then choose all notifications and then hopefully YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new film. Talking of new films I have got an awful lot that you can choose from to watch if you're not quite sure just from this one whether you can put up with my wittering at you all the time <laughs> or if you enjoyed it so much you want to have a binge watch I've got an awful lot of playlists you can run through if you're looking for foundation reviews or the other two episodes of One Row in a Palette um, there's a whole folder called collaborations with every single different collaboration that I've done in it so that could be a good one because that will introduce you to other channels as well right as ever my darlings all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.